Jon Snow admitted he plans to keep busy after the veteran broadcaster stepped down from Channel 4 News. Jon Snow presented his final edition of Channel 4 News after 32 years at the helm of the program in December 2021. The 75-year-old, who is one of the UK's longest-serving TV news presenters, described the role as the greatest privilege of my life. Since his departure from the news program he has presented a two-part documentary on Channel 4 about aging and has launched his own weekly podcast, Snowcast. The veteran journalist is also set to publish his book, The State of Us, about news and social inequality. John admitted that while he has been keeping busy but there is not much work around for the broadcaster. Speaking in a new interview with Radio Times, when asked if he ever planned to take a rest, he remarked, No, thank you. Everything is tickety-boo except there isn't quite as much work as I'd like. I am on the lookout for more. When asked, more. John replied, yes, you can't put your feet up anyway when you've got a two-year-old. They'll be sitting on your feet before you can even put them even halfway up. John and his wife, Dr. Precious Lunga, 48, welcomed their son via surrogate in 2021. In March, John announced the birth of his son in a statement. The TV journalist said he and his wife used a surrogate after numerous medical setbacks and miscarriages. At the time, the presenter said he and Precious were delighted to announce their baby boy's arrival. John also has two older daughters from his first marriage to former partner Madeline Colvin. The on-screen journalist also addressed claims he had been pushed out of Channel 4 following his exit, which he shut down. I.D. always known there'd be an endpoint, and it probably was the right time, he told the publication. I was well past 70 or maybe not well past 70, but past 70 anyway. He added that when he got to 65 no one said anything and he could breathe again. John joined Channel 4 News after serving as ITN's Washington correspondent and diplomatic editor in the 1980s. As well as being a fixture in the nightly program's London studio, the job has taken him around the world to report on stories including the fall of the Berlin Wall, the release of Nelson Mandela and Barack Obama's inauguration. The program has won 10 BAFTA TV awards during his tenure, while John received BAFTA's Richard Dimbleby Award for the Best Factual Contribution to Television in 2005, and the BAFTA Fellowship, the organization's highest accolade, in 2015.